Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Drain My Lawn and today I'm going to talk about the differences with connecting single wall corrugated pipe versus double wall corrugated pipe which are very different. So I'll start with the one that everybody knows which is single wall corrugated pipe. Now this is the one that gets ragged on all the time because it's flexible, it's, it's misused uh, by so many different contractors out there. Um, the reason that is is because it's cheap. So it's the cheapest option out there as far as material goes. So that's gonna be what all the people that just don't know what they're doing are going to use. They're not, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, there's no real reason to spend triple the amount for like a double wall or something like that. So um, any pipe misinstalled or installed prop improperly is going to fail eventually. Uh, single wall pipe has all kinds of different ways to fail. And so we get to see all those. And those are the situations where you hear about on the internet. So, if you install it properly, it's fine, uh, but uh, this is, this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how you join two pieces of pipe, and hopefully this could help you to understand a little bit more of the differences between the pipes um, as far as single wall and double wall. So, single wall pipe has corrugated, corrugations on the outside and on the inside, um, it's very thin. Um, and then there's two ways when you run out of pipe and you need to can extend your run, there's two different ways to do it. There's an external coupler, each one pops in on the outside, or there's an internal coupler. So uh, with this, this is how you do it if you have one piece of pipe, uh, two pieces of pipe that need to be extended here. Connect it on that side, you connect it on this side, and there you go. That's the external coupler, and nothing's fa nothing fancy, but it's soil tight, so it means soil's not gonna wash into your system. It's not watertight, um, and it's, it is what it is. It connects it, uh, so it's actually stronger here than it is here. And then what you can do if you want to keep it from leaking is you can wrap it with uh, tile tape, and you've seen that on a few different channels. Uh, we used to do it. Um, we have a different method for keeping roots out and stuff now, um, and we'll share that at some point in the future. But um, you can wrap this with tile tape, which is, uh, works well, um, but it's still imperfect. It's not completely watertight over time, but it will keep the water in there and help keep the roots out. So that's the external coupler. All right, now we're gonna show um, the internal coupler. It's pretty simple, same kind of thing. So instead of using the outside corrugations, it uses the inside corrugations. So these don't really work with the single wall pipe um, as well. I mean, they still work, uh, but they limit you a little bit. They push in. Uh, and they just smooth, they just create a, um, they create a kind of like a cavity on the inside so that the two pipes come together. Uh, the double wall has its own system, so I'll show you. This just pops in here. This little divider butts right up to it. And you connect it, and you almost don't see the connection at that point. So we prefer these, uh, and the reason that we prefer these is that um, now, instead of introducing two different points of entry or exit of water, it really only has one, end, uh, one point, and it's much smaller. Um, then we can focus on this one point right here, uh, maybe very difficult to see, but we can focus on this one point and uh, stop, stop the roots from coming into it. So you can stop water from coming out, you could do both. But um, this right here is the ideal method for us, it's this internal coupler. All right, so here is what, this is the pipe we like to recommend. Uh, it's the uh, best long-term investment, in our opinion, uh, for, for drainage systems. If you're gonna install it in your yard, uh, in, in your property, especially if you're gonna be there for a while, um, this pipe is smooth on the inside. Uh, it's a little dirty there, but smooth on the inside, corrugated on the outside, and it's extremely strong. I mean, it's probably three times the weight of, uh, of the other pipe that we have, and uh, the single wall pipe and it's, it's semi, uh, semi rigid. So it comes in 20 foot sections that, are, um, that, that have some flex to them. So that makes it easier to install than PVC and it stops it from cracking in the future as roots move around it and everything like that. But the system that it has built into it is a bell end gasket system. And that's another superior trait uh, to double wall over single wall. So I'm gonna show you how that's connected. Um, this right here, is the gasket end. Um, it comes wrapped in plastic when you get them. Uh, and, and then this is the bell end. Uh, this, this specific uh, pipe has a really nice bell that we like. It's nice and deep and it allows you to get 
um, get a nice set into the pipe um, and, and, and push this in. And so what this does, it actually creates a watertight seal um, mixed with the, uh, the pipe sealant that you use. So what you have to do is you have to use a pipe sealant that will allow you to, um, it, it lubricates the, the gasket um, and you do it on both sides. So you're gonna do the, the gasket side and the bell end. And that will then create, uh, that'll lubricate the insides, that allows it to set. And then this stuff creates a watertight seal as well. So it actually helps to, um, to long-term uh, stop water from getting past it. And it stays flexible. So if you ever have to remove it, you can without destroying the pipe. So what we're gonna do, just gonna um, essentially paint the inside of this bell with the pipe sealant. If you ever seen this in out in the field, it looks kind of funny. Guys out in the field like painting the inside of pipe. But um, see that there? So this one's a blue sealant. This is the one we kind of use uh, we use a lot on 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 site. Um, I try to get this not on the table. This is not how I normally uh, paint these these gaskets. The gasket side is the one that I'm going to get all messy, but oh well. So I'm just going to thoroughly and liberally coat the outside of this. And you do want to do both sides because it's going to be very difficult to set the pipe if you don't do both sides. And you'll know what I'm talking about if you don't do it. Uh, it becomes quite quite challenging, especially with one person. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit, definitely more work to do with one person or even two people. Sometimes you need, uh, we need to help each other uh, hold one pipe still while we push the other one in. So what we do here is you can get this pipe, you can get this, uh, get this gasket in there. So what I'm gonna do for the focus, uh, purposes of this video here, So I'm going to push this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it vertically just so you can see it a little easier. Oops. All right, so here we go. We have our bell end system in. So uh, this is how you do it. If you want to try it yourself, you can. Um, so you one time you, you want to keep track of, make sure you don't throw away your gaskets, make sure you, you have extras or um, that you have access to extras if you need them because sometimes they get messed up. But once this is in, this is a watertight system. Watertight, anything drives over this, it's not going to break that seal, um, that, that sealant you used. It's going to keep it waterproof and it's also got a lot to come out if you ever need to in the future. Thank you for watching today. If you have, uh, if this is, if this has been helpful, go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, check us out on drainmylawn.com. If you're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and you'd like to us to look at your project, uh, give us a call at 704-489-3444 or you can check us out on drainmylawn.com and reach us out, reach us out, reach out to us that way. Thank you. Have a great day. <coughs>